let's try a dry run here. I take my special little applicator and I dip it into the CA glue. Then I put a minute amount on the top of this seat bracket. Okay. Then I take my little seat try and get it straight here and see if I can it's not quite adjusted right here it's adjusted just a little ah I dropped it in the CA glue okay let's assume I didn't drop it in the CA glue well I dropped it on the paper You know what? Maybe now is the time to try our waxed pencil. In the meantime, our CA glue is uh, pretend setting. Okay, so we take our little waxed pencil and we press it onto the top of the tongue. And it should adhere. I'll we'll get it straight. And then if I was to place it on there. See that's my problem. If it if it twists, how do I you know how do I fix that, eh? I think the tweezers is gonna be my my best bet here. Well, you will see that I'm repositioned here. I've got the camera sort of coming in over my left shoulder, kind of. And, uh, yeah. And what I'll do here is I'm just going to get myself as ready to go as possible. Um, I'll have to remember that after I get the uh, CA glue dipped, I should move the tray away. Yeah, I don't want to be dropping my part into it. Um, I have my uh, little part already in the tweezer and all I'll have to do is remove the clothespin and then I'm ready to go so I don't have to fight to try and pick it up. At least that's the plan. Uh, yeah, we'll try it like this. Oh, and I raised it up. Um, I was finding that when it was when it was down closer to the paper the angle was wrong whereas now I can get the angle a little better and I can use my left hand here to support my right hand and I'll be a lot a lot more steady I hope okay I realize that your perspective might be off just a little but the deck of the gun is uh, pretty well horizontal or flat now this is actually the first time I'm trying this I hope enough is going on there that it's gonna that it's gonna stick. Oh move our tray. Now what's gonna happen when I let go? Oh try it again. Okay, you know what? I think I'm going to dip the bottom of the tongue into the CA glue here. It's just going to take me a minute to reposition because I dropped the little seat. Okay, I've dipped the bottom of the tongue into the CA glue. Now I realize once again your perspective is a bit screwed, but I did the other one here pretty much the same way. 
and I was finding that the forked needle um, actually worked quite well to add extra after I got it glued down. Um, problem is the little fork is getting itself plugged up so I don't know if I'm going to be using acetone or you know the regular stuff that you can the regular solvent that you buy especially for CA glue okay here we have a bit of a side view and you can see it a lot better um, anyway I'm not going to video any more of uh, gluing the seats on I'm just gonna go ahead and finish the rest of the double A guns and there's seven more to go and if I just get at it we'll get it done well they're done and uh, you know, I was thinking that probably a real good idea if I was to try and do small parts again, and I probably will, and I'm not going to do this, but it sounds like a good idea right now, is if I was to wear some kind of a great big bib, you know, it would come up and completely, you know, from here to here and around the back of my neck. Uh, <laughs> the idea being, well, here's what happened. You remember I broke two of those little seats when I was uh, bending them, the photo etch seats. Well, another one went pinging off somewhere out of the tweezers. Couldn't find it. The same thing happened with one of those little gears that goes into the back. You remember we put them in? So, uh, in other words, two of these units aren't complete here. Uh, one of them has has no seat uh, or has just one seat the other has no seats and one of them is missing a gear but we do have it looks like six that are complete and uh, I'll be able to uh, you know s straighten the seats before I uh, I've already tried it on one that you I can actually bend them to get them nice and level and everything and um, then we'll spray them, but we won't, we won't do any, any painting until I get all of these parts done and we get to the place where we have to start assembling stuff. That is uh, major components. Uh, try and do all, this, all the uh, spraying with the airbrush all at the same time. Anyway, they're done. Now the two double A gun assemblies that are missing little parts there, they're the two that are at the front. And you know, I don't think anybody's going to even notice. Once they're painted and everything and mounted on the ship with a ton of other stuff, yeah, you're going to have to look really hard to see that. And you're going to have to know that they're missing. Okay, before we get going any further here, I want to uh, talk about our little custom-made needle here. And uh, this actually worked quite well. Uh, what I had to do though, is I would use it and then drop it into the CA glue solvent and let it uh, clean out the fork. Otherwise it would have eventually you know, within a couple of minutes, the CA glue that was in the in the in the uh, fork there. I know it's, I'm pretty far away there. You probably can't see it. Anyway, it would plug up and then it would lose its effectiveness. But bottom line is, this works really well. We are getting close to the end of step 17. We've got the double uh, A guns all done as best we could. Well, almost my best. But we got the observation sets, set 1 and set 2. In other words, J15 and J16 here present. And uh, yeah, and I think that should be done today. Now there's a little bit of photo etch that we have to do on it. Um, and that seems to be uh, uh, a little harder than I thought it was going to be. If you remember way back at the beginning of this series, I was saying I'd never done photo etch before. 
I'm finding that yes, it is a, a very nice, fine, detailed part, but it's difficult to work with, at least for me. Now I think I've done a fairly good job of getting the extra flashing off of these parts. Um, they have a lot of little bumps and so on all over them that appear to be, you know, if you're not careful, you could accidentally think it was a piece of flashing that you have to take off. Always with the poking. This photo etch piece is going to be fairly easy to put on. It just, uh, you know, drops in something like this. Now these seats. Okay, they're a little bit different from the seats we just made uh, a little while ago. Uh, you notice how the back gets curved? So that means I have to curve this back part. And I think probably what I'm going to use for that would be maybe a, oh, a sixteen sixteenth of an inch uh, drill bit to sort of lay it on it and rock it back and forth. I think that'll work. Well, we'll soon know. Now I didn't measure it. I don't know what size I've got here. But this looks like it's about right. Now I would think, if I just go back and forth like this and press down, it should curve the back just a little bit. Yeah, it's kind of curved. And also, if you look at the picture of the chair, it, uh, a very poor picture of the chair, it looks like this part here is also curved. So, just push and go back and forth a little bit. I don't want to round the seat itself, just the support that goes up. I think I'm sort of getting it. It gives the illusion of not being a straight piece of metal anyway. Okay, now let's see if we can uh, bend it the rest of the way. Okay, obviously I've done this off camera. Now if you can notice the diagram in the background, it appears as though this is supposed to get glued on there like that. I imagine it goes on the top of that little protrusion that's coming out of the back here. Mind you, it won't matter. Okay, let's see if we can do that. Now it is possible that I've come up to a piece that I'm just not going to be able to... Okay. It's not going to stay there. Okay, let's do this differently.
it's not gonna work. Okay, what if now I was to take and drill a little hole where the tongue of that chair is supposed to go and poke it in? Now, believe it or not, this is not the smallest bit I've got. But I think this might work. But that's going to have to be tomorrow. Once again, things took a lot longer than I thought. So in the meantime, thanks for watching, and all being well, we'll see you tomorrow.